Apple has just launched their latest series of phones after Samsung and Microsoft of the world recently released their latest offerings. iPhone 12 is a new iteration with at least four different variants. iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max and finally the most affordable 5G phone, iPhone 12 mini with a 5.4 Super Retina display. It's very small. I might want one. Today I'm going to unbox iPhone 12 Pro which cost around $1000 before tax. But first, let's see what are we getting for a thousand bucks here. The phone comes with Apple's latest A14 Bionic chip. Apple calls it the fastest mobile chip on any smartphone. It also comes with a 6.1 inch all screen Super Retina XDR display at 460 ppi with a new ceramic shield which is tougher than glass, so Apple claims. The camera system is a Pro 12MP system with a wide ultra-wide telephoto array. And the memory, as usual, Apple definitely don't want to talk about it. You have multiple storage options, 128, 256, 512. You pay more as you ask for more storage. Battery, Apple promises 17 hours of video playback on one charge. Apple has included something new here, MagSafe Connect, that will enable magnetic charging, magnetic wallets, you can attach it to the back of your phone. So let's peel off the plastic. At least the shiny reflection from the light is gone. You can see the box well now. This is a package of iPhone 12 Pro. It's a tiny box. It's less than half the size of the last year's box. Looking at it, I don't think there is anything inside the box except the phone. I think this will be the fastest unboxing ever. Now let's open the box and see what we have inside. So there we go. The phone is right on top. It's a new Pacific blue color. I like the color though. The camera sensors are arranged the same way as in the last iPhone 11. Let's take a quick look, all right? Yeah, it feels good in my hand. It's nice to hold it. So let's keep this aside and see if there is anything else in the box, okay? So here it is. You have the Apple sticker, some papers, and a SIM card tool. Oh, there is a charging cable. So this time, Apple decided not to include a charging plug, but only a charging cable, which is a lightning cable with USB-C at the other end. So that can be used with your USB Type-C chargers. That's all you have in the box. Were you expecting more from Apple? I don't think so. Let me take off this paper. Let's see the screen properly. So here is the iPhone 12. The design looks very familiar to iPhone 4 and 5 with a very familiar steel rim around the phone, which is surely a magnet for fingerprints. So is the ceramic shield on the front of the display that also gets so messy with the fingerprints. I had to wipe the screen every time I look at it. It's not cool. Maybe a better screen guard will help, but I don't think I'm going to use one. I never used one. So what do you think? What do you think about the phone? How does it look? The phone feels super fast. The display looks great. Apple says the ceramic shield used here is stronger than glass. So very good protection from drops, but you still have that notch on the screen at the top. I still don't get it. I still don't get the design being carried to multiple generations while when others, Samsung or many other manufacturers gone for punch hole camera sensors. What, what is that Apple waiting for? Yeah, I'm not really sure. So Apple has decided to retain the last camera module design on the back of the phone. The three sensors, three lens arrangement on the back, ultra, ultra wide and a telephoto arrangement. So let's look at the camera. Let's take some pictures. So that's a 0.5 zoom. 
one x zoom and two x zoom. It looks very good and natural. Look at the details. At least in the initial look, the camera is really good. We'll get to see when we do a detailed review on the camera. Let's play some video. The transition is very smooth. Mm. It sounds very loud. It's not loud, loud, but it's perfect. If you're playing some dark videos, you will not notice the notch. But if you watch something with a fairly light background, oh, that dreaded notch is going to come and disturb you. Look at that, right? So I'm going to review this in detail and I'll come back. Until then, thanks for watching. So have you subscribed to the channel yet? If you haven't, it's very simple. Just click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you will never miss any of my videos.